Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the SUM and SUM IF functions. The SUM function will let you add up all of the values within a range. The SUM IF function allows you to apply logic to which of those values you want to SUM. Let's start by looking at the SUM function. To get started, we're going to look at adding up the total quantity of items that we've sold. We're going to do that by typing equals sum. Then we're just going to select this range, which is the range of values we want to add together. Close the brackets and press enter. And we can see we've found our total quantity sold. Let's repeat this for profit. Again, we're going to type equals sum, open brackets, and then select this range to add up and find our total profit. There we go. Now let's look at the sum if function. This allows us to apply logic to which values we want to add. First, let's add up these quantity solds, but only if we sold over 100. To do that, we can type equals sum if. Now we're going to select this range and put a comma. We now need to add the criteria to determine if we're going to sum it. We have to enter this criteria as a string. So we put speech marks first, and then we can use the logical operators like you would in an if statement. If you haven't seen that before, go and watch our tutorial on how to use the if statement. We want to sum them if we've sold over 100. So we're gonna put greater than 100 and close our speech marks. Now we can close the bracket and press enter. And we can see we've got 1,342, which is less than this because these two values here are not greater than 100. So we haven't included them in our sum. We can also apply logic to different cells, but add things up within the same row. We're gonna do that here, where we're gonna add up our profit, but only if we've reached our target. Again, we're going to start by typing equals sum if. Now this range needs to be where we're applying the criteria. So we're going to select this range here of target reached. Put a comma. And again, we're going to enter our criteria as a string. So put a speech mark. And then we want it to be equal to the word yes. So we're going to put equals yes and close our speech mark. Now we're going to use this sum range, which we didn't use before. And we're going to select this line of profit. This means that the corresponding row, if target is reached is yes, then we'll add up this profit in our sum. Finally, close the brackets and press enter. And you can see that we've added up all of the values where target reached was yes. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. We hope you found it useful. If you have, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Make sure you also check out all of the other tutorials on how to use Google Sheets on our channel. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.